Let's start with two circles, and both of them will be the same size. So I'm going to create a circle center diameter. I place it here, and the diameter is six. I'll do another one exactly the same size. I'm just going to place it next to it. I'm going to create a rectangle. I'll click here as my start point. And the dimensions that I'm going to need should be 10, 1. Let's move this to the inside or at the center location of this one. So I'm just going to use the move command. Select my rectangle. I'm going to use the geometric center of that rectangle. And I will place it at the center of this circle. Now I'm going to take a look at this one and create the shape that I'm going to need to create the cutting profile. So I'm going to start with a circle, center diameter. I'm going to touch the center and then I'm going to track to the right of it a distance of 2.5. The diameter of that circle is 2. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is create a construction line that's vertical and click right here at the center of this circle. Let's offset that line. The distance should be 0.5 and I'm just going to offset it to the right. Next, let's go ahead and create a line from this intersection to the tangent point of my circle. Okay, I'm going to offset this to the other side of this just to kind of complete a block of this. So when it's cutting this profile, it'll cut it all off at one. So let's go to offset. The distance is going to be the diameter of the circle, which is two. Select this line and click to the other side. Connect the endpoints. So collect this endpoint to that endpoint. Trim. And I'll trim off the front part of this circle. Go ahead and erase these lines. I'm going to take a look at this in an isometric. And what I'm going to do with these lines is I'm just going to join them together. So I'm going to highlight them first and choose join. Let's switch this over to shades of gray. Extrude this circle. Make sure that you're going down. I'm going to go down a distance of 20. I'm going to use extrude again. My rectangle and I'm going to bring it down a distance of 18. I'm going to union those two together. Then I'm going to come to my other shape. I'm going to create my helix first, and the helix is underneath the draw drop down and choose helix. The center of my helix will be at the center of my circle. I'm going to click on this quadrant. Now it's asking me how much do I want to spiral this out. It's the exact same distance, so I'll just hit the enter button. Next, I need to give it the pitch. And when you're creating a pitch, the pitch is called a turn height. So select turn height, 25. And now I need to give it a height of how far I want it to go up. I'm going to tell it to go up 80. And I'm going to purposely make it bigger than what it needs to be. Rotate. And I want you to select your helix and your cutter profile. And rotate it from this center. Make sure you select the copy. 
180 degrees. Let's go ahead and use extrude. Select your circle. Give it a height of 60. Switch over to the chamfer edge. Distance. And it's going to be 2. And it's going to be the same for distance number 2. Select the bottom edge and create your chamfer. Next, let's use the sweep. I'm going to select this profile and then I will select the path. I'm going to rotate around to the other side. And I'll do the same thing. Sweep. Select my profile. And then select the path. Subtract. Select the cylinder first. And then I'm going to select the objects that I want to cut from it. I'm going to move this object to the center that's located to the top of this one. So I'm moving it from this bottom center to that center. Choose the union option and union these two together. And then complete it with your fillets. Fillet edge, radius, two, and select these corners or edges. Use the fillet edge command again. Set your radius to 1. Then select the inside lines. Gonna take a look at the shape and it should be complete. 